Hi, my name is Gene, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the serpentine belt inside this pedal drive. These are the tools that you will be using uh, to work on the pedal drive. The first one is a CVR3, a CVR4, and a CVR5. These are supplied with your pedal drive. What is not supplied with your pedal drive is a CVR6 because this one is only used on some pedal drives. This pedal drive has the butterfly, which is the tensioner for the serpentine belt. I am using a set of Harbor Freight bits, which is, represents the CVR3, CVR4, CVR5, and CVR6 to speed up the work. The tools that you will be needing to operate on the, on the pedal drive is an impact wrench, a cordless screwdriver, a hammer, a set of needle nose pliers, 12 inch adjustable monkey wrench, a flashlight to see down into the shaft and some other areas, a nut driver, a flat headed screwdriver, and you will also need a full length clothes hanger. I use white because it helps me see down the shaft and you'll see uh, later why. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the washers. Now, typically when your pedal drive is assembled, it will already have the pedals on there. This unit doesn't have the pedals installed yet, so we're just going to use it as an example. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the washer and reinstall reinstall the pedal retention screw. Using the CVR4, we're going to remove the pedal. The idea is to push against the propeller so it doesn't spin on you. Inside, you will see the shear pin. The shear pin fits inside this groove right here. I'm going to put the screw back in here so we don't lose that. The next thing we're going to remove is with the CVR3, we're going to remove the, um, the, the propeller retaining screws. Sorry, I guess I should have turned it around for you. So you'll have three screws that hold that in there. All right. Gently pull the unit out. All right. This is very important. This has a round edge and it has a flat edge on the bottom. The flat edge will always go to the bottom when when returning it. Now, when it comes out, it is loose, but when it's going to be going back in, it will be tight because the belt we are installing will be newer and tighter. Using the CBR3, we're going to re be removing the bearing shield.
With the CVR4, we're going to be removing the cover screws. There will be four cover screws on each side. When we get the unit apart, it, all it takes is one gentle pull and the belt will come out. At this point, I don't know if you can see this, but I have a close hanger with a little bit of a turn on the tip. And I have a hook on the other end. See if this camera can show this. Inside, you will see two bars in, on the very bottom. Those bars are actually bearings. The idea is to get the screw, the, uh, the uh, clothes hanger, between those two bars. And then it will come out the bottom. We're going to set this unit aside. The next thing we're going to do is remove the C-clips. There's one C-clip there and one C-clip here. So we need to face the C-clip up. In other words, the opening will be facing down. Hooking the C-clip Hooking the C-clip, we're going to gently raise it up until it pops out. If it drops in, don't worry about that. All right, now we're going to change, uh, flip it around, and now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hook the C-clip and lift it out. Okay? So I am just using my screwdriver on these corners just to lift it out of place. Now, you, there, will, there is a groove inside there that's where the c-clips will fit one on this side and one on this side now this one's covered up right now because i scooted it over but i'll show you in a, in a little while now once that's done these seals will come out so there's one on that side and one on the other side all right now with the hammer we are going to tap on this screw never tap on the shaft itself. You must tap on the screw. That's why I left these or I put these back in. What we're going to do is we're going to be tapping. It's going to get kind of loud here. You notice that this side, the bearing and the, the seal and the bearing have already come out. We're going to set that aside. I'm going to flip this around. Oh, no, sorry, sorry already coming out so all right this is what's important that little key pin goes into this little slot and that's what locks your gear into place to give you power on the wheel so don't lose that little key pin all right now we're going to lift our gear out. I'm going to leave it same direction and replace this belt. This is a one three zero zero. Turn that around for you. Okay. 